Hi there, Pete here from Raider.co. So today we're gonna to look at Play It Live, which is a free piece of automation software for Windows. And we're gonna look at how we can link this with Raider.co. Now previously, it could have been quite complicated to set up multiple aspects of your radio station in your radio show. These aspects are made a lot simpler with software like Radio.co. However, software like Play It Live can enable us to go that one step further. Similar to Radio.co, Play It Live can fade your tracks out for you, ensure there's no dead air if your DJ's running late, for example, and it can also automate your station, so it sounds live even when there's no one around. Play It Live uses a cart-based interface and a log interface, which might be your preference over some other software. However, it is important to note that whilst Play It Live is really good and does many things, what it doesn't do is broadcast in. So today we'll be looking at how to link up your Play It Live software with your Radio.co station so we can broadcast to your listeners using Play It Live and Radio.co together. So first of all, we're gonna to go to playitsoftware.com then we're gonna click on play it live and then we're gonna click download for free button. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna run the install which is a very easy quick install process. Let that install finish and then we're gonna open up our play it software. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up our play it live software to connect to our radio.co station. So to do that, we're gonna to have to firstly install the internet broadcasting plugin. So to do that, go to plugins, plugin manager, that'll bring up this box here. We're gonna browse for plugins and we're gonna pick the internet broadcast plugin. So we just click get that for free, get that for free. And then we verify we're gonna install it on this computer. That will then install in a few seconds. Once that's installed, we can go ahead and set up our radio.co station. So to do that, we're gonna to go to plugins, plugin manager again, and then we're gonna double click internet broadcast. And then in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a stream. So we're just gonna click add, and then we're gonna choose our server type, which is Shoutcast V1. And then we're gonna get the information which we can copy from our Radio.co station. So first of all, we're gonna copy our server, and then we're gonna paste that into there. We're gonna copy our port number, which is 4328. And then we're gonna go back to our Radio.co software and copy our password and put it into here. We can then give the station a name if we like, so we're gonna call it Pete FM. And then the final thing to do is check your bit rate. For today, I'm gonna to make ours one to eight. However, you should make yours the same as your radio.co station. That can be found under settings and broadcast. So once we're done that, we're gonna click okay on that and we can see the stream is all set up. Now, one final thing to double check is your audio source set to broadcast. Currently, I'm gonna have Play It Live and all the music and software running through Play It Live broadcasting on my radio.co station. So to do that, I'm just gonna leave it on Play It Live music mix. And we can see that server status isn't connected because we're not connected yet. And we're going to close that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start some music playing so it's ready to go. And then once we're happy, once you're happy that Play It Live is doing exactly what you want to do and you're ready to broadcast live, you want to hit start streams in the top right hand corner. Click yes to that. Then we're going to see the off air button change to on air green. Then when we go back to our radio.co station, we're going to see this connection status here, which currently shows not connected. That will change to on air, which we can see here. This means our Play It Live software is broadcasting live on our Radio.co station. Now, once we're ready to stop that, we can go ahead on Play It Live and click Stop Streams over here. And then once that's stopped, we just hit Yes. That will then disconnect our Play It Live software. We'll see the off air button go from green on air to off air. Then when we go back to our radio.co station, we'll see the connection status, which will currently show as on air when your station is connected on air. This will then show as off air again or not connected. And that now means our Play It Live software is disconnected and our radio.co station is broadcasting back from the dashboard. If you have any more questions or help, do let us know, help at radio.co. And all the links for today's software and help guides will be in the description of this video. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps 
kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch and do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.